Hello, I'm James Colazzo, the author of You Got to Do What You Got to Do, my experience as a caregiver taking care of my parents for over 20 years. I would like to give you a short introduction about taking care of elderly parents. The following topics, along with many others, are detailed in my book. First, I want to say that I am not a medical expert or professional. I have no formal training or education on this subject. I am just an average person that was given a challenge and had to deal with the situation. That challenge lasted over 20 years and I actually did all the work needed to care for my parents. In my book, I explain how I took care of my elderly parents and their condition. Every person, condition, and situation is different. What I did to care for my parents might not be suitable for others. I believe this topic affects adults with living parents because most people have not planned ahead. The older generation struggled and lived paycheck to paycheck to provide for the family. They never heard of long-term care insurance, and even if it was available, there was not enough money left over to cover the monthly premium. Most never gave a thought until the later years on who might take care of them. They thought that Medicare would cover these expenses, and that is true for most medical and hospitalization, but not for personal care. This decision, most of the time, is made after an emergency such as a stroke or a heart attack. In the hospital, you have to make this decision in a matter of a few hours or days. In my situation, my mother woke up one morning and yelled, she couldn't get out of bed because she had no strength in her legs. On that day, my life changed forever. From that day forward, she needed 24 hour a day, seven days a week care. She needed to be lifted to and from bed, the bathroom, the shower, the wheelchair. She could no longer be left alone and needed help with a lot of the tasks we take for granted. I started taking care of her full time because I made a promise to my father when he was ill. I just never thought it would happen so fast. When this occurs, you have very little time for discussion and you have to make the decision quick. We always want to be prepared for life's events, but unfortunately, most of the time we are not prepared for this situation. Some want to become caregivers of their parents and others have no choice and have to take care of their elderly parents. That is one of the reasons I wrote this book is to let people know how much work is involved before they take on this enormous responsibility and how it will probably change their life. I had no experience in being a caregiver. My father was diagnosed with a lung disease in the 1970s. We knew this disease would progress and make his life difficult. He was a strong man and he fought this disease until the early 90s. I have two sisters but they had families and careers. This kept them extremely busy and I felt it would not be fair to them to interrupt their family life. Since I was single and had my own business, I decided I would take care of our dad. When his lung disease turned into cancer, it took its toll quickly. I detail in the book how I started to lift him out of bed and help him around the house. This was basic care, but as time went on, it became more detailed, such as washing, shaving, and more. His disease advanced and he was in and out of the hospital. I basically learned how to care for him while I was doing it. The hospital at that time did not offer much in the form of advice for a caregiver. He died in 1995. In 1999, my mom woke up and said she could not stand. I felt my sisters were too busy with their families, so I decided to take care of our mom. I detail in the book how it's different for a son taking care of his mom versus his father. I had to do things I thought I would never have to do. Once again, I learned as we went along because this is a situation where everyone is different and what you learn about one might not work with another. What worked for my dad didn't work for my mom. In my book, I describe how I handled situations with my parents and they might not be right for others. The book will give you an idea of how much work is involved, the burden and responsibility. It was a learning experience and it continued until my mom passed away. In fact, I was still learning about the effects to my life even after she passed away. The hardest part for me was that it never stopped. I was on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My mom needed to have someone with her at all times, but we didn't have the money to hire another caregiver 
and my mom did not like to have strangers in the house. So I would have one of my sisters stay with her so I could go shopping and do other errands. Even though I was not at the house, I knew I had things to do when I got back, so it really wasn't a break. It was a continuous job. Our doctor always told me to take a break, but that was easier said than done. There are financial effects while taking care of a parent. Most people think insurance covers everything, and with my parents' insurance, that was not true. Insurance covered the medical, hospitalization, and some equipment, but it did not cover the personal items needed. One of the biggest expenses is incontinence supplies, and that was not covered. You're changing diapers many times a day, and they're not cheap. That is a cost that adds up. I was lucky I was able to sell assets to cover some of the debt. Today, a lot of people have no equity in their home, are maxed out on the credit cards, or have no assets to sell. That's another reason why I believe this is a ticking time bomb for most adults. It doesn't matter the age. They have no idea about the cost of personal care. Some think they or their parents have it all planned out, but when the time comes, they might find out differently. That's why you need to discuss this with your parents. The aftermath of being a caregiver varies because everyone's situation is different. For me, it changed my life. Finding a job has been difficult because caring for an elderly parent is not considered recent employment. After 20 years of taking care of my parents, I am now starting over. I want you to know, if you decide to become a caregiver of a parent, it will be a life-changing decision. After saying that, I would not hesitate to make the same decision again. I am proud that I took care of my parents and I did my best. Because of that care, my mom lived to over 92 years old and was able to see her great-grandchildren and be a part of their lives. I also kept a promise to my dad. You Got to Do What You Got to Do is a large book, over 500 pages, 72 chapters, and more than 400 subchapters. You can read the entire book or just the chapters of interest. Each section will give you a complete information of the topic. It is available in paperback and ebook. You can visit takingcareofaparent.com for more information, chapter list, and purchasing information. Thank you.